He says ni hao but he doesn't say hello. He loves music. Baby actually brought us all the way here to China because of his condition, ROP. And um, basically in South Africa, with his condition at the stage he is at, nobody, none of the doctors in Durban or in South Africa, basically anywhere around the world, couldn't help him. Father. He noticed the, the difference in the baby first. Uh, when he was two months old. I mean, I didn't realize at that time that he wasn't following objects because it only takes baby two weeks. Uh, I mean, a full-time baby two weeks to start seeing after they are born. So I didn't really pay much attention to that until I saw the change in his eye. He was about two months old when I noticed his right eye change color, the pupil. And we had, um, we had an appointment the next day with his pediatrician because he had a hernia as well. So when we went in to check out the hernia, we asked the doctor to check his eye as well, and they weren't sure exactly what it was at that stage. Mm -hmm. uh, they asked us to visit another doctor in another hospital, which we did, and he himself didn't know what was wrong with baby. So he advised us to go to a provincial hospital with the doctors there and do some tests. And we were visiting the retinal clinic for three months there. And... Um, they took him into theatre about four times, still didn't know what it was. They told us they had to research it, they'd never seen anything like that before. Mm -hmm. Initially they told us ROP, then they said to us they don't know what it was. Then they diagnosed him with something called Norris disease. Mm -hmm. um, and for three months we thought baby had Norris disease, looking around the world for doctors, trying to figure out how you cure Norris disease, which is, which is an incurable genetic disease. Yeah, of course. And, um, that's what we had for three months until we went up to Johannesburg, Dr. Louis Kruger, for a second opinion. Mm -hmm. And he said to us, without a doubt, it's ROP, baby has stage five. The people are very friendly, very helpful. Yeah. You go into a store and you try to ask someone for something in English, and then everybody comes, and then you always have someone that speaks English and who's willing to help <laughs> yeah, you. That's... He doesn't pull it out. He, you know, I always thought that you know, you have to be sedated during that time, and the doctor said, no, they can't yeah. sedate him. And I was afraid of him pulling it out of his hand. And he doesn't. After he has the stem cell in his, in his, in his hand, he's, mm -hmm. he's happy, he's laughing, he's playing, he's doing okay. his normal things. Considering that this is, that he is the first ROP case, we did not know ourselves what to expect, whether it's going to yes. work or it's not going to work. But after the doctors confirmed that the stem cells are working in his body, we can positively say and confidently say that it is only going to get better. We were expecting him to start seeing after the first treatment. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, but the doctors explained that it is a slow, gradual process and it will mm. continue improving over the next few months. The rapid eye movement, you know, when he moves his eye from side to side rapidly, mm -hmm. that's stopped or it's minimal now. See that? He's never done that before. It's actually it's minimal to nothing. Because I always have that uncontrollable movement. Mm -hmm. Always had it. Okay. Alright. He's focusing for longer. Uh, he puts something in front of him, he focuses on for longer. And he reaches out to grab it. Before he only used to follow the light. It mm -hmm. was only the light that he used to follow because at that time he only had light perception. He can't do is determine the distance because the doctor says that he needs both of his eyes um, to determine the distance. And because of the cataract in the right eye, which is blocking his vision, mm -hmm. he can't determine the distance. And the other thing he's done that he's never, ever done was follow something. See, I put a picture in front of him after his um, the IV treatment before this. And mm -hmm. um, I had it in front of him. I just moved to the left and he followed it all the way to the back. And okay. he's never, ever so done So he's never... Before. He's maybe been on focus, but never actually move and follow. Never followed. Never An object followed. besides light. Yeah. He was able to do it with light, but yeah. an actual object, picture. Yeah. He never followed it. So. Okay. Not yet, mm -hmm. but I got him the block just to see if he can identify colors, which I think is a bit too soon for that. But I just want to. Yeah. Yeah, but as um, long as he's reaching out and grabbing, you know, he knows that there's something in front of him, which is good. Yeah. He has been uh, actually touching the object, picking it up, and throwing it down. So uh, sometimes you see him do that. So he'll pick it up and throw it, down. And throw it back down. Yeah, yeah. And that's something that he hasn't? He hasn't been doing that before. Done before? Yeah. yeah. And if you put something in front of him, if he's heading toward the direction, mm -hmm. if you put something in front of him, you move the 
object out, out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing. So he's actually seeing the object in front of him. Can we see a fish? Hello! Yeah. And he's a very happy baby. Hello, baby. He's become even more happier than you. Look at that smile. Clapping! Clapping! Where's the camera get that? Clapping, boy! Yeah, He's going to continue his um, examination with the ophthalmologist to, to um, see his progress and yeah. how far he's got with his vision. Uh, other therapies, maybe occupational therapy and speech therapy because he has been slow with regards to his speech and things because of his condition. My advice to people out there with out of conditions is yeah, the doors are open. An opportunity for your child um, to, to, be, to be sorted out in terms of vision. We, we've seen the improvement in Shirdesh, and that is evidence enough to say that yes, there is hope for those blind children in the same condition as Shirdesh.